manufacture three different types of gloves. You know, break it down here. I'll just show these real quick. This is uh, this is our G6 glove. It's the one we'll be giving away. We've got our Axis glove and then our Alpha glove. So the G6 glove. This is rated in the 3285 again uh, rating, so that uh, you can use this most form of motor sports. All of these are, are rated five gloves, and again, they have a set by 15 and 20s, but those are typically used for drag racing, uh, top alcohol, top fuel. Uh, all the stuff that we'll be talking about today is going to be more oriented toward road racing or lower class uh, drag racing and off road things like that. Um, so it's an SFI glove. It is an internal stitch glove, which is, means it's it's sewn in the inside, right? They sew it inside out, then they turn it, flip it out, and they're done. That's a pretty traditional way of making gloves. Almost all the gloves that we've seen in our everyday life are, are manufactured that way. Uh, it has leather on both palms and in, in fingers. Thin, so you still have some good tactile feel, but the leather really helps uh, assist a little bit of grip, but also uh, increases the, the wear rating of the glove as, as, as well. So that's the glove that we're going to be giving away today. So one lucky viewer there. The next glove is going to be our access glove. So as we step it up, what we talk about are things in terms of ergonomics and comfort uh, and then uh, uh, increased tactile feel. So the access glove is externally stitched. So you can see the stitching you know, on the outside of the glove and don't really know the origins of that they've been around a number of years so again you, know, you have again you have the leather in both palms and fingers there uh, for increased wear resistance external stitch and the reason i think it was you know originally so we don't really know the origins but i have a feeling that it was probably a mistake at some point somebody probably sewed one uh the, the wrong way inside out and they went to flip it around like oh my god yeah this thing's inside out but, but they realize is by keeping the stitching on the outside, it makes for a more comfortable uh, glove because it's not bunching up on the inside of the glove. Now, that's not to say that the first glove I showed you, the G6, there is uncomfortable. It's actually a very, very, very comfortable glove, but this just takes that up another notch. So then from there, we go to our alpha glove, and this is, uh, this is our top of the line glove. Okay, again, external stitch. It has silicon embossed fingertips again for increased grip and very light tactile feel so that the driver vehicle interface is, is really greatly enhanced with the glove like this right and you know anytime we talk about driving performance driving that connectivity that interface between the driver and the uh, vehicle is really critical so the better feel you have the better control you have the better your, your driving is going to be but the other difference between this glove is that uh, it's pre-curved, meaning that before they sew it, it's it's patterned in such a way that it naturally wants to curl up, and that helps reduce the bunching up on the inside of the fingers. So again, all helps increase that. And these are available in three different colors: black, white, and then of course neon yellow. Neon yellow is is somewhat of a trend in, in style. We're seeing that, but it also has some safety benefits to it as well for signaling. Uh, if you want to do a wave by, right? A yellow glove is pretty easy to see if you need to signal somebody from inside the car uh, very easy to see so we're starting to see it used more and more in all sorts of motorsports just based on the safety aspect of being able to see the glove so 